You talking to the Star Wars t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. Set on cultured heathen, it's your boy Beef. You know what today is, it's Saturday. It's part two of Star Wars Saturday. We had a little difficulty with the helmet. Trying to get it situated, get it figured out what was going on, whoop de woo whatever. But we got the Trapper Wolf. We got it going on. These are supposed to fit inside, but with my big ass head and big ears, it wasn't cutting it, so I had to leave those out. But they're supposed to fit right here, cushion for your ears. The little headpiece inside worked out fine. You got like the little microphone here where you're talking to everybody, but it don't do nothing. It's just for display. But it do light up and do make noises and stuff. Like ones the Ranzar and Razor Quest. <laughs> you know, they got two of the different little flight things going on in your ear. You can't really hear it over there, especially can't hear it over my mouth. But when you got the helmet on, you can hear everything. It's kind of cool. Like you got it doing one. And feel like you hear it like you're flying and stuff like that. And if you hit it again, you can change it. Well, maybe I just cut it off. But <laughs> All right, there we go. I don't know if y'all can hear any of that. And it sounds like the Mandalorian and stuff going on in there. It's, it's pretty cool. It gets a little hot in here, but I mean, it's not bad. It's all right for what it is, especially for the price we paid. I mean, for $30, it's a little cool gimmick deal, you know. You can display it. You can make maybe make you an outfit, you know, do some cosplay or for Halloween or whoop de woo whatever, so... I mean, for 30 bucks, if you get it, all these, I say pick it up. I don't know if I'd spend 100, 150, whatever they are, but it's not bad. It's a little hard to see in here, getting all fogged up in my big ass breath. But uh, it's kind of cool. But that's about all we got for Star Wars Saturday. I apologize for the issues. That's why a lot of people don't do these live unboxings, because you never know what you're going to run into. But I don't believe in cutting all this stuff out. You know, we all human. We all make mistakes. Not all of us know what we're doing, especially not me. But I'll figure it out. But until the next time, I'm out.